principle of operation. In principle, the stem psychrometer uh, sets out to measure the vapor pressure inside a small chamber that's attached to the water conducting tissue of the stem. It relies on the fact that the liquid phase water in the xylem of the stem of a plant sets up a vapor pressure equilibrium with the chamber air. And measuring the vapor pressure in here using a psychrometric principle that we'll explain in a moment uh, is how the device measures the uh, corresponding water status of the plant tissue. So once sealed against the stem and uh, come to vapor and thermal equilibrium with the stem tissue, then measurements can proceed. The uh, interface initially measures between the black and red wire here, and that is the temperature difference between the C thermocouple and collectively this reference point, which is an isothermal mass by virtue of the brass and, and copper posts here. Uh, and even though they're slightly dissimilar thermocouples, this one chromal copper and this one constantan copper, the fact that they're at the same temperature means that there's no electrical output from there and what you measure then is the electrical output that is uh, created by a, any temperature difference between C and collectively this reference. So initially that uh, output is noted and that is uh, basically the dry bulb reference point and it, it should be zero. It should be as close to zero as possible, certainly less than one microvolt. And uh, that, but that becomes the uh, effectively the dry bulb output. And once uh, water vapor is condensed on here, you can get the wet bulb output. But first you want to know what the temperature gradient is between the chamber air and the sample. And that is measured by uh, the output collectively across this uh, the black and green wire which will give a, a voltage output depending on the temperature differences between these two reference these two junctions and if the sample is colder than the stamp than the chamber then you'll get a negative output and vice versa if the uh, sample is warmer so it, it's undesirable of course for the sample to be warmer than the chamber because then the uh, error inducing issue of, of condensation is invoked and we'll talk about that as well. So the temperature gradient is measured uh, and noted and finally the wet bulb depression is, de is measured by putting a Peltier cooling current through this thermocouple junction condensing water from the uh, atmosphere of the chamber air onto the C thermocouple and allowing it to evaporate back into the chamber air. Um, and the, the drier the chamber air is, the faster the water bead will, drop, will evaporate from the C thermocouple and create a larger wet bulb depression and, and hence uh, detect a, uh, a lower vapor pressure and a lower, in other words, more negative water potential in the stem tissue. So we start then by measuring the C temperature reference as your dry bulb, uh, the temperature difference as your air inducing temperature gradient, the wet bulb depression after Peltier cooling of, uh, uh, of this thermocouple, and finally the absolute temperature is measured of this entire system uh, by a copper constantan thermocouple that's referenced to an electronic reference back in the circuitry and that gives you the absolute temperature at which you've made this vapor pressure measurement which is of course quite important. So that's all the information you need to then calculate uh, the total water potential of this piece of plant tissue.